grandpa's house. He had most everything prepped off when it came to making sure that there was plastic on everything and the floors were protected. And so really all I had to do was go and let's start. So we started off by mixing up the quick coat by Stone Coat. And this takes about three hours before we were able to sand it. And um, you just wanna really, really make sure that after you're doing something like this though, you're sanding and you are cleaning everything because that sanding dust gets everywhere. So we sand it and I just washed it all with alcohol. So what we did is we took a vacuum and then I wiped it with a microfiber, microfiber cloth and alcohol and we wiped up the entire thing. Then we took the epoxy primer black coat from Stone Coat. It all came in a, in a kit. Um, so we ended up getting four gallons of epoxy and then the fifth gallon was the one gallon of quick coat and then it came with the black undercoat and um, a little bit of the metallics. This is about 80 square feet of countertop and as a rule of thumb um, one gallon can cover anywhere from 15 to 20 square feet. Um, 20 square feet are for simple designs, 15 square feet if you're doing a complex design um, kind of like dirty pours or things to where you're gonna be wasting a lot of resin there's gonna be a lot of resin runoff but what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm going to be creating a well for all my resin to sit in and that helps because it has time to self-level and level out and you're not wasting as much uh, dripping onto the ground as the countertop and then we're gonna spread out the plastic from the ceiling to the floor. Now I have never seen these things before, but they were so cool. You just put the plastic on top of them and it's kind of like an extension hole that you can click into place right on the ceiling so that way the plastic tarp just stays in place. So before I mix anything, I took and I mixed some of the copper metallic pigment into a chemical sprayer with 91% isopropyl alcohol and I am just spraying that all over the countertop. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to be doing a layer of clear and then I'm going to be doing my dirty pour and all of this is going to create a very interesting level of depth which you'll see at the very end. Anywhere where you see the black with like the copper dots peeking through that would be this first layer that you see. Then we mixed up the regular epoxy. Now with Stone Coat, you get about 45 minutes of working time if you're not heating up your epoxy or doing anything like that. Um, I felt like I had that because I even needed to mix up a second batch. And when it came to big countertops, something that I seen on a lot of videos was you really don't want to mix up too much and then not have enough working time. So working with like half at a time is perfect. And it worked out great for this countertop. So my pops initially um, kind of took his little painter experience and started rolling out the clear, but in a super thin layer. <laughs> And so I had to pour it out for him and show him that we're, no, we're doing an entire layer of clear. So it worked out and he definitely learned so much from me and did so great helping me out. So it was fun. Now what I'm doing is I'm doing a dustpan technique. If you missed the live, I will do a better video because the recording was totally wonky. I had horrible lighting. I was visiting my sister and her house was not set up for recording. So it was not a very well live. <laughs> it was a horrible live. Um, so I will do a better video on that when I get back home to North Carolina. So that way I have all my recording studio stuff and everything's gonna look normal. But here you can see that I'm just doing, I did a dirty pour into one bucket and then I poured that onto a dustpan and then I dragged that dustpan across the counter. But again, I will do a different video on that so you can have a better um, visual because this was also my grandpa trying to record and you know, he, he did his best. <laughs> uh, but I definitely think he needs some 
some new camera working skills. But, you know, y'all show them some love. Give them some likes on this video. <laughs> Once I was done working with the dustpan, I took and I just did dirty pours straight onto the countertop from the bucket. And that's when I mixed up my second batch and I did it again. And I sprayed with my alcohol and the pigments again to have some more depth. And that's really all this counter is. There's just a bunch of dirty pours and you make it look kind of like a rock. I loved it. This was my first countertop and it was quite the experience. Um, definitely had a lot of learning curves uh, that are very different than being an epoxy artist. So it was great being able to work with a countertop and kind of get out those kinks with family because, you know, you can always just do, redo their countertops if you needed to, but you wouldn't want that to happen to a client. <laughs> so I'm really glad I got to work out those kinks and now um, I have a better understanding of what it's like to work on such a large can large canvas. So I'm really excited. I cannot wait to do more countertops. Of course, I will show you guys my prox progress and all my process videos of all my future countertops that I have coming up. That's it for now. Y'all show me some love. Hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys on Monday. Have a great week, everyone. Let me know what you think of the very first countertop pour.